Hey guys, I actually have makeup on today because I just filmed a review video. Um, so that'll... I think I'm going to go edit it now and put it up so it'll probably be up before this. I got um, the KVD Vegan Beauty Shake Primer because I was very intrigued by this. Uh, so I just did a review on it. I don't know. I did Aiden's... We did his um, speech therapy session this morning, so that's all done with. And he did some of his worksheets for the week. Um, this is the last week of the summer school program, so then he's all set for the summer until they figure out what they're doing for fall, because we still don't really have a set plan. They have, like, the, the school committee meetings and stuff. They've been making YouTube videos and stuff for us to watch and I'm not taking much away from it other than the fact that they have like three plans ready to go and they don't know which one we're gonna do. They have one that's like some students are gonna go for the first two days of the week and then do the rest of the week remote learning and like all kinds of plans like that and then the other one is just like choose to do remote learning so I don't know. I'm leaning towards that right now because if we're going to be in the middle of moving and stuff, I just feel like the remote learning is the way to go because it's going to be easier to transition from here to wherever we go. I'm so stressed about it, you guys. Like, <laughs> just I hope that this house doesn't sell right away, which I know it's not going to, but just in the back of my mind, I'm like, shit, what if it, what if he puts it on the market and someone wants it right away, which I know that's not going to happen, but that's how my mind is thinking. I am super excited that, um, you may, I think I did a video about it. Yeah, I must have, because last summer, Bath and Body Works had this scent that was, I think it was only available in candles and wallflowers that was Hot Fudge Sunday, and it smelled, you guys know I don't like chocolate scents because every time I get like a chocolate candle or chocolate wax or something, it never smells like actual chocolate, it always smells like that fake chocolate scent. Um, this candle that I had, I had the wallflower too, I think I still have one left because I bought like four of the candles and four of the wallflowers. Um, but it makes the whole house smell like an ice cream shop. Like, it smells exactly like Smucker's Hot Fudge. Like, when you heat it up in the microwave to put it on a sundae, this candle, this fragrance smells exactly like that. And then I was hoping they would bring it back this year for summer, but they didn't for some reason. I don't know if it wasn't a good seller or what, but I was so bummed that they didn't bring it back. Um, and then I had found this fragrance group on Facebook that um it's it's a sh it's a shop that sells fragrance oils but they have a group on Facebook where you can request fragrance oils that you're looking for and stuff and they work with a chemist and they can make like they can make the things you're asking for like discontinued scents and everything so I threw that one up there and they were like oh we already have it and they put it up for like people to order and enough people ordered it so now in about a month I should have that and I can put the hot fudge Sunday fragrance oil in anything I want and I'm so excited I don't necessarily want it for like a body spray because I'm not into like body stuff that smells like food but just as a room spray and like I could get wax and make candles for myself I, I don't sell candles or anything yet but um it's, it's something I've been thinking about, but then also, like, candles are very heavy to ship and stuff, so I don't know. It might be something I branch out into, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, but sprays and stuff, for sure, for the room. So I ordered two giant bottles of it because I was so excited that the girl could get it for me. Um, but they have to have it made and everything, so they said about a month for it. Um, so it should be out in time for my fall fragrances and stuff. I've been slowly getting, like, stuff that I want to use in my Halloween soaps and, um, lotions and sprays and everything. Because, like I said, when we move, it's probably going to be in the fall, and I'm going to have to shut down for, like, a week or two tops. That's all. I don't want to be gone for any longer than that. But, um... I also don't know how that's going to disrupt my my fall line of stuff that I've got ideas for. So 
I just don't, I hate everything being up in the air because I'm such a, like a planner and stuff and not knowing what's going to happen is not fun right now. But yeah, um, I just thought I would check in and say hi. I have a thing where I have to try all the new weird Oreos that come out, even though I'm not the biggest Oreo fan. <laughs> so these are caramel coconut. These are eh. They kind of, it's weird because they taste like coffee to me. And Steven said it too, so I don't know where that's coming from, but, um, these have, it's just, um, coconut flavor, a caramel coconut flavored cream, and then it has tiny, tiny little pieces of coconut in the cream. They're alright, they're not disgusting, but, um, these are really good. <laughs> these are probably my favorite of these weird Oreos, aside from the cinnamon bun ones. Those were so freaking good, um, and I don't think they make those anymore. They were around for a while, but these have little pieces of marshmallow. I could just swatch on my hand. Little pieces of marshmallow in the cookie itself, and then it's got chocolate marshmallow flavored cream, so it kind of just tastes like you're eating a marshmallow flavored cookie, I don't know, but it's got like the pieces, we've already eaten like a whole line of them here and I just opened them, let's see if I can get one that shows it, see there's little tiny pieces of marshmallow and then they kind of get stuck in your teeth as you're chewing them, the pieces of marshmallow that are in there, but they're so good, if you like marshmallow flavored stuff, definitely recommend these, the coconut ones, not so much. If you really like coconut, you probably won't even like them because they're not very coconut flavored. But, um, they're both pretty good. I definitely prefer the chocolate marshmallow though because, like, these have been open for so long to the point they're getting stale now and we still haven't eaten that last row. <laughs> but these, we've already eaten a whole row of them and we just opened them today. Um, yeah. I got stuff to make a cherry pie because Aiden keeps asking for cherry pie, so we'll see how that goes. I am on a roll. I filmed another video, a swatch video, so I'll have like three videos this week. I haven't done that in a while. I was just reading, um, sorry, I just woke up. I was on Reddit reading like the, uh, the 90 Day Fiance, uh, posts. The, what is this called? 90 Day Fiance Uncentered, Uncensored <laughs> Reddit. Um, some of these people crack me up. I am all caught up now. I am like on the current episodes, so I've seen all of it. I've seen all, like, The Other Way, Happily Ever After, Happily Ever After, The Regular 90 Day Fiance, and then like all the little shows that they had, the um, self-quarantine and all that stuff, so I've seen everything now. That's what I do all day when I'm working, I just have that playing, so I was able to catch up, and that, um, I have the Philo app, or Philo, however you pronounce that, P-H-I-L-O, uh, to watch it, because Hulu took a bunch of the 90 Day Fiancé stuff off, but the, the Philo, that's what I call it anyway, that's how I pronounce it, that app, um, I watch it downstairs on the Roku, or I can watch it on... Uh, my computer. It has live TV too for a bunch of channels that I actually like. So like TLC is the main thing I watch. I love TLC shows. I actually just started watching that smothered one which is even more ridiculous than 90 Day Fiance. But um, I was just reading through the Reddit stuff because I'm glad that most people agree with like my thoughts on a bunch of the people that are on this show. Um, I don't know why everybody seems to love Darcy though. Like I can't believe that her and her sister are getting their own show. She just annoys the crap out of me. Um, but like, I'm trying to think because there's been so many couples on these shows. I know that like um, Paul and Karini right now, he's in like deep shit because she filed a police report saying that like he abuses her and stuff so I've been trying to follow that I knew from the second that guy was even on camera that there was something wrong with him because like just the way he acts and then his mother giving him hair bef from her brush before he left for Brazil it was all just so weird like red flags all around for him um, and then the fact that he runs away so awkwardly whenever he doesn't want to be on camera that kind of cracks me up every time he does that um, 
I know, I think The Other Way is like my least favorite out of the series. They're just not that interesting. Like, I feel bad for Jihoon because, like, the episode that happened last night, um, Devin's kid, the one she had, what's her name, Drusilla, the one that she didn't have with him, she had her before she had the baby with Jihoon. That kid is not disciplined at all, like, she's an anim animal. <laughs> she's always, like, standing on the kitchen table or crawling around the kitchen counter and stuff, and she never says anything to discipline her, like, get down, you don't crawl all over the kitchen counter while we're cooking and eating. And then the way the episode ended was she ran off like into the street and then everybody's blaming Jihoon for not catching her in time. Like, your kid should know not to run into the street. My child is autistic and he knows not to run into the street. I don't, uh, I don't know. There's just, there's so much. I should do like reaction videos to the new episodes or something because I get so much joy out of the, the entertainment. But like, the um, Happily Ever After is the other one, that one comes on Sundays, and the other way comes on Mondays. So Happily Ever After I like a lot better, especially because they've got so, they always bring back couples that have been on for years and years now. Um, but like, I think the most entertaining is probably Colt and uh, his array of women that have been on here. I can't stand him, and his mother is insane, but that's just like good entertainment every time they're on. That's like my favorite storyline. I used to really like Russ and Paola. They're not on any of the, the seasons anymore, but then I found out she's a freaking anti-vaxxer, and I don't agree with a lot of the crap she posts on into Instagram, so that kind of made me not enjoy her anymore. Still haven't gotten the sink fixed yet. I have to wait for my uncle to be able to come uh, take the garbage disposal out for me. He said he's going to look at it, but I told him I don't think there's any fixing it, so I just want to take it out and get a pipe to uh, make it so that I can use the sink again without the stupid garbage disposal. To be quite honest, I never used the garbage disposal for that much anyway. I'm so in the habit of like peeling vegetables and putting the peels in the trash and everything that like I just throw food in the trash. The garbage disposal was just there because it's it was here when we moved in here and then it broke and we had to replace it and now it's broken again. I just think they're they're more trouble than what they're worth. Like it's not worth stupid thing, especially when I don't use it that much. Um, yeah, I just wanted to pop in for the day. Eden has his one-on-one -on -one call with his teacher today at 3.30. She usually does it at 11 on Wednesdays, but, um, she had an appointment or something, so we're doing it at 3.30 today, and I hope I don't forget it. I think the reminder goes off on my phone, because all the meetings are, like, in my Google Calendar. Um, but I'm so used to doing it in the morning, I feel like I'm going to forget. Um, I don't think there's anything else I was going to talk about. Oh my god, I can't stop yawning. Oh, there was my alarm to get up. I got up way earlier than I expected today. And I keep yawning and my eyes are watering, so I'm just going to go edit the swatch video that I filmed. And I will talk to you guys later. You guys, Aiden has a new thing where he likes to pause the shows he's watching so that he can draw the stuff. So, like, he wanted to draw this, what is that even called? Like a roller. I can't think of what those are called, but look it. Can I see your picture? Yeah. Look what a good job he did. <laughs> I can't even draw cars and trucks. Like, that is one thing I cannot draw. That's awesome, Aid. Oh, and a road. And the road. <laughs> That's his roller. <laughs> I can't think of what those are called. Hey guys, it's Friday, so I'm gonna end the vlog today. I just wanted, I was gonna go edit it and then I realized I didn't film any type of an outro type clip, so 
need to wash my hair today. It's been so frizzy lately because it's been so humid. Um, tomorrow it's only supposed to be 75, which is, that I can handle. Anything over 75 is like grossly hot. So I've just had the air conditioner cranked all week. It's like, I don't even want to see what the, the electric bill is going to be. Ugh. I still have like sleep ickies in my eye and it's noontime. I got up at 9 I think. Aiden came down to wake me up. So like I haven't been doing anything but cleaning. I cleaned the tub and the whole bathroom and I have a new um, wallflower in there that I don't know if that video is going to be up first, but I did like a Bath and Body Works haul for the Halloween stuff that I got, and they have Vampire Blood uh, Wallflower refills this year, which is so exciting because that is one of my favorite, favorite scents from them, and for some reason, that's like one of the scents that I cannot find a dupe fragrance oil of. It's just, it drives me nuts that nobody has duplicated that fragrance yet. It is... It's strawberries, jasmine, and plum. But like, I've tried to get those fragrance oils to kind of replicate it myself, and every plum scent that I get just smells like cherry cough syrup to me. <laughs> so like, I love cherry stuff, but I don't like cherry cough syrup, obviously. That's not fun to drink. That's just medicine-y, medicinal flavor. Um, but yeah, I haven't been successful in <laughs> in duplicating that scent myself. I'm just hoping that eventually someone, one of the suppliers that I get fragrance oils from will be able to get that one. I forgot to, what I originally came on here to do was complain about my, uh, my grocery experience yesterday. So, um, I have been getting Peapod pretty much since they, like, opened up a bunch of slots again because at the beginning of the whole pandemic thing it was really hard to get grocery delivery from anywhere let alone through Peapod. Peapod is stop and shops if you don't know. I know they don't have that everywhere. Um, that's their delivery service or it was because they recently, two weeks ago, they switched it over to just be stop and shop delivery. So I'm guessing that's because they needed more drivers and everything, more people are ordering their groceries now for delivery and they just needed like more people to do it and they had to expand which I totally understand I totally get that but the past couple weeks that I've been getting it they don't come with a box truck like a refrigerated box truck anymore it's just somebody in a van that has everybody's groceries and they're delivering them that way so the past two weeks uh, my ice cream has been total liquid like totally liquefied um, and like everything is not cold and it's kind of questionable so I'm not gonna order from there anymore for delivery obviously because yesterday not only was the ice cream completely liquefied they charged me for the bread that I ordered five loaves of bread and they didn't friggin give it to me which I think they just forgot it on the the van but like nobody's answering me back when I'm trying to report it and I had ordered ground turkey I put it in the refrigerator as soon as we got it from, like, they leave it on your doorstep and knock, and then they have to go away because it has to be contactless delivery. So we brought it in, I put everything in the refrigerator that needed to be refrigerated, and I was going to use the ground turkey last night because I was going to make sloppy joes, and then I start cooking it, and it smelled weird, like, it did not smell like ground turkey usually smells when you cook it, so I was like, the expiration date on it was like, today is the 14th, I think the expiration date was the 23rd or something like that, so I'm like, it shouldn't be bad or anything. Um, and then like, we each took a bite of it, and I was like, <laughs> it was, it had to have been from sitting in a not refrigerated van. So like, I've complained to them twice so far, because they send you a survey every time, um, they didn't used to do that, but I guess because they're trying to get feedback on this new system that they've got going on, they send a uh, survey. So both times so far that I've gotten delivery since it's been stop and shop delivery and not Peapod anymore, I've sent them messages in the survey where it asks for your comments and questions and concerns saying, 
I get that you guys probably needed more drivers and that's why they're using vans now, but you need to be using like a bunch of dry ice or something because everything's arriving melted that's supposed to be frozen. And like my meat yesterday, I had to throw it away because it was just, it stunk. I'm so glad that that was the only meat that was in my grocery order because I would have been pissed if I had to throw away like a bunch of chicken and uh, turkey meat and stuff like I usually get. I only got one because I still had some in the freezer and I still have chicken in the freezer. But like, it may, I do not want to order from them until they switch stuff up and figure this out because that's like, it's just throwing money down the drain. If you gotta throw away your friggin' meat when it comes, and I don't know if they're gonna give me a, a refund on the stuff that came that was all yuck, but um, yeah, that's just like, don't use stop and shop delivery right now if you can avoid it. Uh, I'm just gonna do the pickup, like go to the store and have them bring it curbside from now on, because I'm still, I still don't want to go into grocery stores. This entire thing has like messed me up mentally where I don't want to go into anywhere that other people are. Um, so I guess the pickup is the next best step because like we did Instacart for a while and then that's like a $10 a month thing if you don't want to pay for delivery every time and uh, that's why I liked Peapod because it wasn't too expensive. But uh, I don't want to get friggin not tainted, what's the word? Not expired just like a gross food <laughs> because they're not using refrigerated box trucks anymore. I'm sure some people get lucky and still get the Peapod trucks delivering, but since they changed it, we have not had a Peapod driver. It's been a van. So yeah, that's just a warning. Don't use the stop and shop delivery service because since they switched from Peapod, it sucks. But uh, I'm just going to, I'll either do the Walmart pickup or the stop and shop pickup next week. I gotta figure it out. You hear the toilet flushing because Aiden just went in there and didn't close the door. Did you shut the light off? Yeah. Anyway, um, I have to go get some work done. So I have a bunch of stuff to do. I need to go do that. I will talk to you guys next week. Possibly next week you'll see, uh, my hair fixed up a little bit because I got, um, the L'Oreal high color hair dye that I used to use all the time, the red one, uh, just because I figure, since I gotta do my roots again so you can see how much it's growing in, um, that one is, like, specifically for dark hair, so if I just use it up here it should be fine, and I won't have to bleach it. I'm sick of playing with bleach, it's so annoying. I have like my specific shirt that I use for dyeing my hair and it's like all falling apart and has holes in it now because I keep spilling bleach on it. It's like on its last legs. I think if I wash it a couple more times it's gonna completely fall apart. But yeah, I will talk to you guys next week.